What's up guys, this is Numan from Blackline Trading and in this video I'm going to go through all the tools that I use on daily basis. I'm going to have a deep dive on what exactly tools that I use, what data information they provide me and how you could possibly integrate those tools into your trading system to take your trading the next level. So with that being said, let's have a deep dive. So the first major tool that I use is based on something called market profile right uh, before we actually have a deep dive on the tool itself i just want you guys to walk through what exactly market profile is and what's the purpose of using the tool so market profile is a type of profile which basically give you gives you deep insights on the price action right you have two major components on the profile one is the time perspective and the second is the volume perspective and when you combine these two things together this basically gives you the market profile right it showcases you okay what prices are accepted in the market what prices are considered as fair prices in the market what prices are considered as unfair prices in the market right so this this gives you a lot of information on how on, on on the behavior of large participants because at the end of the day what moves the market is the otf time frame players right other time frame players big buyers big sellers they are actually the ones who actually move the market it's it's based on the auction market theory right uh, which basically says that the market moves from one point to another in order to find the fair value or the fair price so the tool I basically use is a market profile. And for that, I use the Sierra chart. Uh, now this is the Sierra chart. Uh, and this exactly is the live price section right now. Uh, this is a market profile exactly as we discussed before, as I showcased you guys before. This is what I use. And this is basically how I, I get insights on the price behavior, potential targets, uh, what the market participants are doing, where could price possibly be heading to moving forward and what's going on, right? So this is the one big tool that I use. Now, there are other uh, TPO chart providers as well, such as Ninja Trader, such as ATAS. I personally like Sierra because it's just very professional. It's very customizable. So that gives me a lot of flexibility in terms of seeing what's happening in the market, right? Uh, with Sierra, another part, of course, is the footprint chart. This is also something I heavily, heavily focus on uh, because since I'm a day trader, I really want to see, you know, what exactly is happening on the price on intraday. What are the entry pockets? What are the exit pockets where the liquidity is sitting? And this footprint actually showcases me this information. It showcases me what exactly is happening in the candle. And basically, I take my trades from there. So market profile and footprint charts, this is something that I heavily, heavily use in my trading. And for that, as I said, I use zero charts. Uh, there are other market uh, uh, data providers as well, uh, such as Ninja, ATAS, very much depends on um, what your trading style is and what sort of platform you like. So this is one big tool that I heavily use in day trading. Now, moving to the second tool for liquidity, I use Bookmap. Bookmap is a tool that provides me information on the liquidity itself, what the liquidity pockets are, and how the volume is trading on the day time frame. Right. So, for example, this is a live example of Bookmap. This is where the price right now is trading. As you guys can see, there are some interesting, interesting liquidity pockets, such as 65, such as 60. On the upper hand side, we have some big rotation around 90, 92. Right. So these areas become very, very interesting, significant levels for the market on the session. So Bookmap is a second big tool that I have for my intraday day trading. Now, again, everyone has uh, his or her own way to trade. Some folks usually use DAM to seeing, okay, where the buyers are coming, where the sellers are coming, where the liquidity is being provided, where the liquidity is being pulled, where the passive buyers are and active sellers are and whatnot. Uh, for me, uh, based on my trading style, I like to see that sort of data in this format, in the heat map format. Again, you can see that on the DOM as well and try to interpret that from DOM as well. But again, it very much depends on personal choice and personal understanding. The major, major idea is that you basically try to understand where exactly the liquidity pockets are, where exactly the active buyers or active sellers are, and basically align yourself with them to take your trades. So to sum up, Bookmap is the second big tool that I use for liquidity.
right? For liquidity tracking, for what's happening in the market and so on and so forth. Now that brings me to my last tool and the most important tool, uh, which I use on daily basis on every single day. And um, that is Tradezilla. I use Tradezilla to journal my trade. I use Tradezilla to track my trading performance, make my game plans and so on and so forth, right? Uh, this is very, very important. And I would recommend every single trader to journal because at the end of the day, markets uh, is like any other business, right? You have certain transactions happening. You have cost of doing business. You have revenue, you have profits, you have losses, whatnot. So the idea is to track every single thing right? And have a track record and try to see, okay, what exactly your mistakes are, where you are messing up, where the shortcomings are, and what are the major points to improve. So with that being said, I use Tradezilla every single day to journal. So I use this function heavily, which is a notebook function where every single morning I have my game plan, right? I have my game plan. I look at, okay, what exactly uh, the what exactly is happening in the market? If there is some important data coming, there are Fed speakers coming and whatnot. What is the, the theme of the market, right? And basically, from theme of the market, I drive, okay, what is the scenario for the session? Uh, what is the primary thesis, right? Is there a possibility that bulls take over? In case the bulls take over, this is my target. In case the bears take over, this is my target, right? So every single day, I have a solid game plan before the session open. I have all the scenarios laid out in my notepad and basically have perfect game plan, right? And once the market closes, or in fact, even during the trading session, I always go ahead and, you know, write down my thoughts. Okay, you know, this is what's happening right now. These are my thoughts. This is how the markets are moving. Basically, is it aligning with the game plan? No. And then the last point, uh, every single day, review, right? Um, that is the most important part, right? I review my trades, write down every single thing. If the play which I took, if, if that aligned with my playbook, if it did not align with my playbook, uh, things that worked well, things that did not work well. So I use Tradezilla every single day. And, and, and I think this is the most important thing and the most important tool that you need. Basically journal your trade, right? Uh, so for example, how I am doing in terms of the cumulative PNL, right? Daily PNL, uh, how my day is going, right? Uh, percentage win, percentage losses, profit factor. So there are tons of other functionality as well. So this is what I heavily, heavily use as well. Uh, this is my third and the last tool. And as said, I would recommend everyone to journal, be it on Tradezilla, be it on whatever the case may be, because journaling provides you insights on your performance. Because the idea is to spot your mistakes, look where exactly you are not doing well, take those points and try to improve them. So these are my top three trading tools that I use every single day. So those are three major tools that I use for day trading on every single day. At the end of the day, the idea of any tool is to see what data information that the tool provides and how you could possibly gain insights and integrate those insights into your trading system. I hope you guys like this video. And if you guys like this video, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.